40 minutes ago, you wrote an observation that, that uh, I, I was very surprised. Trump appears to be sleeping. His head keeps dropping down and his mouth goes slack. Tell us about that. Well, Jake, he appeared to be asleep and, you know, he repeatedly his, his head would, would fall down. There have been other moments in other trials, like the, uh, the Agent Carroll trial, which was around the corner uh, in January, where he appeared very still and seemed as if he might be sleeping, but then he, then he would move. This time, he didn't pay attention to a note that his lawyer, Todd Blanche, passed him. His jaw kept falling on his chest and his mouth kept going slack. Now, uh, you know, sometimes people do fall asleep during court proceedings, but it, it's notable given the intensity of this morning and a lot of what was being argued. Yeah, that's rather surprising. That is, yeah, rather surprising from the guy who likes to argue that everyone he disagrees with is sleepy, whether it's Chuck Todd or Joe Biden. Everyone else just doesn't have enough energy from the point of view of Donald Tr Trump. Everybody's sleepy, but but him, I, I have energy, I'm virile, I can get the job done. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Listen, in order for the damage report to keep on going, we need viewers like you to become a member on YouTube. Can you click the join button on YouTube today? Thank you. But anyway, we have, you probably familiar with the fact that he fell asleep yesterday, I acknowledge that. But there is an update on this that I love. We're gonna give that to you in just one second. But it's awesome how much this angers him. They're calling it the nap heard around the world. And everyone's having fun with this. He's been um, labeled Sleepy Don, uh, the Nod Father. Hashtag Don Snorleone began trending on Twitter just yesterday. And a lot of people, you know, in these tough political times, took the opportunity to have a little bit of fun at his expense. Joe tweeted, I prefer presidents who don't fall asleep before the lunch break and their hush money paid to a porn star election interference trial. And I largely agree. Uh, you know who doesn't agree? Donald Trump, who has avoided up until now directly commenting on this on Truth Social or in the weird speeches that he gives before and after each day in court. But the campaign did put out this statement saying, this is 100% fake news coming from journalists who weren't even in the courtroom. And I am sorry, but that is untrue because Maggie Haberman 100% was in the courtroom. And I know that because when she tweeted or posted to New York Times that he was falling asleep initially. Donald Trump apparently glared at her. He was mad in real time and you can't glare at someone who's not in the room. That's how reality works. But that said, while a lot of people obviously were very critical of Donald Trump or at least reported what happened, he does have some defenders in the media and here's an example of that. What I would say is, first of all, he's old and old men take naps. Um, it was a long proceeding and so that I would just say in his, in his, in his defense, now, admittedly, that may not be the sort of defense he's looking for in the media, having a woman refer to him as just old and, you know, old guys sleep. So old Don went to sleep. Now, look, realistically, that is what this story is. It's not, there's no scandal or conspiracy here. He's super old. It was probably a little bit warm. He's tuckered out from tweeting all night. And so he fell asleep. We've all been there. You ever been in like a hot like classroom or something? And the only thing you want is to stay awake, but you just can't do it. That's what's happening to him. Now imagine if you were like 40 years older. So that's what happens. But the issue for Donald Trump does not begin and end with the fact that he fell asleep and got caught by Maggie Haberman yesterday. No, no, no. It is a continuing issue because the update to the story is. It happened again today. Norm Eisen tweeted Trump is asleep again. And Frank Runyon gave us a play by play saying, oh, sorry, oh, I copied the wrong one. Damn. But anyway, he apparently was just slowly nodding off. There was a description of him trying to get it together. He was doing some of the sorts of tricks that you do to keep yourself awake, but he wasn't able to. And again, this doesn't matter, except. If you were one of the voters for whom the mental and physical state, virility, energy, fitness, health of the candidates is super important to you, this would seem to be information that you would want to work into that. That's all I'm saying, you know, and I don't expect that it will be. We've been giving people examples of Donald Trump's brain falling apart live on stage for months and months now. And all of the people that claim that the most important thing to them is the mental competency of politicians don't care about that. So I have a feeling they will go right back. To ignoring this, talking about Sleepy Joe, and be quite happy about that. <music> Members make a difference here at TYT. You help make the show happen, and we see you in the chat with your loyalty badge. Click the join button to become a member today.